A supernova has not been seen in our galaxy since the 17th century, but now it seems our solar system is in danger from an imminent supernova. Scientists have already identified a telltale sign to identify when a star is likely to go into a supernova, even though we are unsure if it possesses a hazard or not at this time. This groundbreaking discovery might aid in the creation of an early warning system before one of these enormous cosmic explosions occurs. These findings were made just in time after one of the famous stars in the cosmos, Betelgeuse, was observed to be approaching a supernova explosion. What do we know so far? And how threatening is the Betelgeuse's inevitable explosion to our solar system? This and many more will be discussed in this video. Simulations from a new monitoring system have given deep insights as to what to generally expect when a star is about to explode. The data obtained so far has also predicted how red supergiant stars would look in the years before their explosion. Such stars grow larger and become fainter and dimmer before turning into a supernova. A star approaching its death is termed a red giant. Stars like these can remain in this stage for up to a billion years. The star will eventually cool and gradually shrink to become a white dwarf. After many billions of years, these stars will then turn completely cold and stop emitting any energy. When at this stage, they pass away as a black dwarf, a small scorched out cinder that is close to being invisible. Further simulations also showed that a ring of circumstellar material forms around the star before the explosion takes place. As a result, during the last few months before they die, stars become around 100 times fainter in visible light. Though scientists are unsure of how this occurs, the dimming may be brought on by a sudden buildup of debris around the star that blocks its light. These studies and models have become a matter of necessity after astronomers discovered a star that will likely explode in a supernova. Orion constellation's most famous star, Betelgeuse, is now a key interest in the space world as it is now a bright red supergiant star, nearing the end of its life. This star is one of the stars that you can easily identify. It is the 10th brightest star in the sky and can be seen as the blazing red shoulder of Orion. This red supergiant would envelop all the inner rocky planets and extend from the Sun to the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter if it were to be placed in our solar system. Betelgeuse is so close to our planet that when it explodes in a supernova, it will be bright enough to be seen during the day for several weeks. With that knowledge, astronomers will be able to direct additional telescopes towards the target. This would be in an attempt to investigate the physical circumstances of the star's atmosphere as it gets ready for the last countdown to its self-destruction. Orion's most famous star abruptly blew off its top in 2020 ejecting a sizable chunk of its surface mass. Although solar flares are regular, there's no doubt that this eruption was significantly more powerful. Nobody has ever seen anything like this, not even NASA in its history of Space Watch. Let's consider the solar flares emitted by our Sun as an example. A powerful solar flare was released by the Sun on October 2, 2022 an event that NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory photographed. This flare was discovered to be an X1 flare, one of the strongest solar flares as we approach the solar maximum. The solar maximum is a stage where these flares become frequent, powerful, and potentially devastating if they strike Earth. However, the eruption from Betelgeuse was a much larger explosion. The mass of this particular ejection was 400 billion times greater than the mass of a typical solar flare from our Sun. The unusually large amount of ejection in Betelgeuse is undoubtedly a phenomenon that requires further study before scientists can provide us with any firm answers or draw any conclusions. Like living things, every star experiences what can only be described as a life cycle. However, a star's life cycle is obviously much longer than that of any living thing. And this is something we ought to be grateful for. Take our sun, for instance. Our sun is currently in its prime, making it a main sequence star. 
a period when it emits a great deal of heat and energy. Sirius, Alpha Centauri A and B, and a bunch of other stars in the cosmos are also examples of main sequence stars. The Earth still has the right environment to support the evolution of life due to the relative longevity and stability of the Sun. The biggest star in our solar system will reach its red giant phase after around 5 billion years, at which point it will begin to grow continuously. The Sun will be 200 times bigger and 2,000 times brighter than it is currently when it gets to this phase in its life cycle. It will also likely engulf Earth as a result of this massive size increase approximately 2.5 billion years from now. At this point, when this star successfully develops into a red giant, it will implode and collapse in on itself, which will transform it into a supernova. So the Sun still has a lot of life in it. It will take roughly 7 to 8 billion years, give or take, before it will eventually sputter out and cease to exist. And before the Sun is able to do it for us, we can never tell if we humans will most likely end up destroying ourselves. Or perhaps by then, humanity would have evolved into a Type 3 civilization and ceased to be reliant on the Sun altogether. While our Sun still has a very long time to keep sustaining life before it reaches its end, the discovery about Betelgeuse comes as little to no surprise. After all, about 275 million stars die every day, taking with them light, planets, and civilizations. And not only do stars die, but an equally massive amount of stars are also born every day. Another discovery which is quite the opposite of the Orion star confirms the tender beginnings of another galaxy. Humanity has been blessed with some incredible images from the James Webb Space Telescope. And with these images, we have started to understand the universe like never before. While NASA uses the telescope to survey the skies, Webb is also being used by independent scientists for their scientific needs. Pictures from this current research have revealed a region in space that is rapidly creating stars. However, the Trappist system and the Andromeda galaxy are what we are all waiting for Webb to focus on. This is because our knowledge of the universe will be profoundly altered by the study of this habitable exoplanet that boasts liquid water and artificial lights. As for Betelgeuse, even while we are aware that red giants exhaust their fuel far more rapidly than yellow dwarfs like our sun, it is intriguing to note that the star had abruptly and mysteriously dimmed. The phenomena still baffle astronomers all across the world but none at the time have had any theories about why it is happening. And it will be some time before we have any conclusive information regarding the red supergiant. Nevertheless, there are some other supernovas we can aim to study, as there are two other red supergiant stars in the night sky. The first is the Antares in the constellation Scorpius, which is about 555 light years away and the second, the Aldebaran, in the constellation Taurus, is about 65 light years away. Like this video and subscribe to this channel if you dig space and the mysteries we are even yet to uncover.